Thank you for tuning in to Upland Inside the Game. I am Blood Spirit, and I am back with another beginner video. So here are going to be the five things that I have learned that I wish I would have known when I started. So here we go. We're going to start off with number five. Know your city. You need to understand what is going on inside your city, where the borders are. I'll talk to this one at nauseum. I cannot believe how long I actually started playing this game and did not know that this button right over here will show me where the borders are and it will also give me the names when I get in close enough of the areas that I'm at. Had no idea. I played for a good month not knowing this. So here's the, the areas. But you need to know your city. You need to know where things are. And you need to, to, to figure out what your city borders are. And it's going to be so important down the road for treasure hunting and things like that. So the fifth most important thing that you can do is know your city. Okay. Number four, understand the collections. This here is very, very underrated for a new person. And typically when you start off and you want to put a uh, start playing this game, most people don't want to spend a lot of money starting this game. They don't, and I understand it. Nobody wants to put a whole bunch of money in until they get it to feel out. But here are uh, three collections that you should focus on, and then after these three collections, then don't worry about collections until you start investing more money and gain capital. So the first one will be your newbie collection. So this is what it is. You will be able to go in here as soon as you buy a property, click on the, the property button, and it will give you some additional 10% on your standing return, which is, I'll show you here in a second. You'll get 10% more, plus you will receive a little bonus here, and I believe it's 400 UPEX. You get an additional 400 UPEX. I've collected it already, so it's already taken care of for me, but you'll get 400 UPEX. The next thing that you will have is the, the area. This one here, I got it on Fresno, though I'm Chicago. I have no idea. So Fresno, uh, and how that would work is you would edit it. You would get three that you can add to that one. Don't want to take the one off of this one, but you want to get your three best returns. And I'll show you how you find that out. You go down here. You clicked on this property, which is in Fresno and it will show you right here your property size you click on more and it will show you what your maximum you can get so you want to make sure that all your maximums are getting the most that you can get so that one that one there will give you the every city that you open up in you will get this availability for every city see when i go to uh let me say brooklyn here and open up brooklyn See, I also get this one for Brooklyn. Though I own properties. Here, here we go. I have... Pro no, I don't have properties in Brooklyn. Brooklyn, my bad. I have properties in... Not Manhattan. I have properties in the Bronx. So I'll go to the Bronx. Click on the Bronx. Look at this here. And then, see, I've filled those one up. Those are for... Every city has one. So if you can get cheap properties, you can get a good standard return on all these properties. The next one would be... Uh, the King of the Street, this one here is an important one as well. That would be three properties on the same street. So if you can get those three properties, that would be great. It will give you a, a nice big bonus. And the fourth one is going to be the City Pro. That is four uh, properties in a single city. So these ones here I would focus on and the rest of them, don't even worry about it for a while. It will take you a while to get them. But you go back here and you click on them, you sign them up. So get your collections figured out. Only focus on four collections. Don't worry about the rest and, and start working the city. The next one I recommend to find a city and stay in it. Build that city up before you go anywhere else. And the reason why I think that's important is because the cost of travel is so expensive. It could literally eat up your Apex in no time flat. So just kind of work a city, get a bunch of, of standing return. Here's your standing return up here. This is how much you get for your properties uh, based upon what, what you have. Get a good good standing return before traveling to another city so pick a city go in there and look at what the cities figure out what city you want to start building your your empire in and then stay in that city and do not travel to other cities number two 
join a community down there in the discord we have our community channel you can go into discord and talk to people we have specialized people that I consider the counselors in the game anybody that has a yellow orange or red uh, title let me go to my discord and I'll show you up here if they got it uh, right now we got a Vasquez and Jimmy J uh, Jester on they're yellow they're good we got another guy named Jason time myself is red so if it's got a red title a yellow title or an orange title those people are very good people to talk to um, we also have given some other um, colors to some other players but um, the people that you should really be focusing on trying to get the attention of is Jimmy Jesters uh, Akfa, uh, I can't even pronounce it we call him Ava myself and Jason time are, are there to help you and we we have absolutely no desire in any way to um, do anything but give you help we're all on the same team we're not looking to you know benefit ourselves by having you um, one you know we're, we're gonna take care of you we're gonna give you the information that you need to be successful in this game because we're trying to build a community our goal is not necessarily to uh, uh, get better off in this game our goal is to build a community so we've got other things that we're working on and upland is a part of that so uh, we would rather have you on our team working with us and and doing great things in the future the number one thing that i wish i knew and i did not take advantage of it i did not know it existed but that is use the promo code on the first purchase for your first purchase that you get you will get 50% more upix on your first purchase and first purchase only and you should take full advantage of that I always recommend going with a hundred bucks because you'll get 50,000 more upix and that will really launch your career but uh, in the upland game but use a promo code everybody's going to get one use one i've got mine in the in the description down below you can just click on that go click on that before you purchase click on it and then it'll bring you back into the game then go up here and purchase your upix in the amount that you want and if you purchase up to a hundred dollars if you purchase this twenty thousand twenty dollars worth of upix you will get an additional ten thousand so those are the things i wish i knew before i get into this game and i think i'd be a lot better off if i had it had known those things my name is blood spirit this is upland inside the game <laughs> 